This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed artist, Kieran Sid. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at his original song and the music video for it, Blinding Lights. Under a dark sky was where we would meet. I'm very well, thank you, Will. How are you? Doing so much better now that we are finally meeting after months on the books. And Kieran, I want to know first and <laughs> foremost, what was the impetus behind you creating the song Blinding Lights as well as the fabulous music video? Um, I think I wanted to just write something that was kind of lyrically on the sadder side, but kind of juxtapos juxtapose it against um quite uplifting music and um i think a lot of the kind of influence i have are like that they're kind of like sad bangers um they're kind of energetic but if you listen to the lyrics they're usually on quite sadder subjects um post malone's a quite a big influence on my music um and i think a lot of his stuff's like that it kind of makes you want to party but at the same time it's a lot of it's about heartbreak well, you know what I love about, you know, especially Blinding Lights, but a lot of your stuff off of what you're talking about is like the banger vibe is going to allow us all to lean in. But then when we actually listen to the lyric, I love those kind of, um, I just like the dichotomy of it. And I think it's something that too is very pertinent to now. Look at, we all want to be able to feel something that we can move to. But at the same time, I think there's also something to be said by being moved by pertinent lyric. Do you feel like that that dichotomy and, as you say, juxtaposition is needed now more than ever? Uh, yeah, I completely agree. I think, you know, even looking outside of music, everything that's going on in the world, there's a lot of bad stuff. But at the same time, it's people don't want to get too kind of bogged down in it. They want to feel good. And I think that's when music is at its best is when it can kind of straddle that line between the two. Um, and I think that's, I ho well, hopefully that's kind of what um, I've managed to do successfully with this song. Well, you did my friend. And I'm so excited you're coming on board this incredible new social media app, Phoenix 360 artists from all over the world. I've been so fortunate over the past year to speak with over 1300 from all over the world, including in the UK where you are. I want to know, Kieran, what the pandemic was for you, what, what it was like for you in terms of how were you able to kind of keep your creativity uh, going uh, throughout this trying time? Yeah, the pandemic was quite bizarre because I, I started my music career just as it happened and we went into lockdown in England. So it's kind of... Um, it's been it has been quite bizarre I think I think for me personally as a producer songwriter it's maybe been easier because I'm so used to kind of just being in a studio on my own and working on songs um more recently I've I've kind of become more of a singer songwriter as well um and with that you get um there's a lot more kind of feeling the need to be out there and network with other songwriters and just be in a studio with other people and work with producers and I think the pandemic has been a real issue um, for a lot of people. Um, I think I'm just kind of blessed that I already know how to produce because um, I started out as a drum, a drum and bass DJ um, 
So even though I was stuck in my house for months on end, I was still able to be creative. But at the flip side is, um, I came, I came up with a lot of ideas like musically, but I guess lyrically, you know, you're not living life. What, you know, what is there to talk about? I hear you, but I also have, you know, you're also saying a lot of things that a lot of artists have said, um, you know, we are used to being in the trenches in an isolated state, but at the same time, when you're talking about writing lyrics, which for many artists are the poetry of everyday observation, it can be tough, but listen, um, I could speak with you forever, Kieran. I wanna let the audience know though, for more on the fabulous Kieran, you can read more about him right below this video. Kieran, final question for you. What are you working on now that you know the audience and me can expect in the coming weeks, months, sometime later this year? Uh, I've got a lot of music planned, um, going in quite a different direction. I'm gonna be, um, singing on all of my tracks from now on as a lead vocalist um so i've been really busy working on my vocals getting them kind of up to scratch to the same kind of level as the professional singers that i've had on my tracks um and i feel like it's now a point where i'm quite happy with how my vocal sounding um so basically going to be busy recording a lot of songs at the moment i've got about 10 maybe nine songs written up that need uh, vocals recorded and from that I'll whittle it down to probably four or five and uh, hopefully drop an EP later in the year. That's incredible well listen I'm so excited you're coming on board this amazing new app Phoenix 360. I'm also so excited that we are now connected. Thank you so much for your time today. No worries thank you for having me.